what is up everybody in today's video i am going to be making some carne guisada con papas so here i already rinsed my meat and now i'm just going to cut it up in small pieces you don't have to but i like to because the more you cut it up the more you get out of your meat so now my pan is already heated up so i'm going to go ahead and add the oil and i'm also going to go ahead and add in the meat So now that I have the meat in the pan, I'm going to season it with onion powder, garlic powder, and complete seasoning. Now, us Mexicans, we don't really measure when we're cooking. We just put it in and we taste as we go. So then you're just going to get a, give it a little stir until and make sure everything's coated up. So while that's cooking, I am, I've already peeled my potatoes and I'm just cutting up into small pieces and then I'm going to rinse them off. So while you're cooking the meat, you are going to see some water in the pan, the pot, whatever, but it's okay, it's gonna disappear. Um, and then I just went ahead and added a little bit of minced garlic and give it a little stir. So now this is what the meat looks like after it's been cooking for some time and it has that little brown crust that I like to have on my meat. So now that the meat has the brown crust i moved removed it from the pan i added some oil and i chopped up two onions and so now i am going to add that into the pan so now all you're going to do is just stir the onion and saute them until they get a little soft and once they look like this they're good to go so now i'm just going to make like a little well in the middle of the onions and i am going to add in the meat oh my gosh that looks so good so now i am going to add in the flour and i used about four tablespoons of flour the flour is what's going to make the gravy thick and stir you want to make sure that everything is coated into the flour good. And now I'm adding in the potatoes and going to give it a little stir. And now I'm adding in the nor tomate, which is just as a tomato bouillon. So now I'm just adding in the beef broth. You don't have to use beef broth, you can use water, but I had beef broth on hand, so that's what I'm using. And you just wanna make sure that all the food is covered up completely. And then here I'm just um, grab some flour and water, mixed it in a cup and poured in slowly until I seen that the liquid was getting a little thicker. Once it was getting a little thicker, I stopped pouring. So now I'm just going to cover it up with some foil or a lid and just let it cook. And then this is what it looks like once it's done you guys this is very very good and you want to make sure that the meat is very very tender if it's still kind of hard it's not ready the meat should just melt in your mouth and there that is the carne guisada 
con papas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And until then, I will see you in the next video.